I would love to hear about your favorite and maybe least favorite looks from the Golden Globes. Um, I thought in the broader sense, Gucci really knocked it out of the park. Hard to pick between the women they dressed. You had Daisy Edgar Jones, Michelle Williams, Jenna Ortega, Julia Garner, all these women who looked amazing. I can't say that I had a favorite dress per se, but for an overall look, I thought Jenna Ortega looked amazing. You know, I I wasn't necessarily a huge fan of the dress, but I know cutouts are back in. I get all that. But from head to toe, from the hair, the makeup, the jewelry, the dress, the way she worked the dress, full on awesome. Oh, the thing about Michelle Williams' look, which I thought was interesting, is I didn't like it in photos, but I loved it when she was moving. I mean, I felt like that was a dress, very tricky color, especially, and it, you know, for how fair she is. But I thought the dress came alive when she was walking and moving rather than just posing for a still photo. I mean, the one that really needs to be like in her own category is Angela Bassett. She's a star. Like she walks in a room and owns it. It doesn't matter what she's wearing. I loved the dress. I love the hair and makeup and jewelry was breathtaking, but just the way she comports herself and the way she speaks and the way she moves, it's like, oh, there's the adult in the room. And it's like, God, I want to be her when I grow up. Were there any looks that kind of fell flat for you? Heidi Klum. I have a new theory on this, Okay, which is she's actually genius because no matter what event or what show we're talking about her. There is no reason for her to be at half of these shows or red carpets. And we end up talking about her every single time. So I'm starting to think there's a method to this. A method to her madness. Part of me, I have to admit, hoped she would show up in the worm costume just because like we could all use a little more worm. <laughs> yes, we could all use a little more more levity, but it's like, I feel like the joke's on us because mm-hmm. she just, we talk about her every time. It's really every true. Every single time. Not because she looks good. Um, You know who I do want to call out who yeah. I thought was amazing was Letitia Wright in that Prada. Yes. So it reminded me of that moment, the first time Lupita Nyong'o showed up in that red Ralph Lauren gown with the little cape where everyone's in a sea of ruffles and glam and glitter and this, and in walks this moment of just elegance. Yeah. Pin neat. You know, that was one of those moments where you just went, ooh, I'm loving this. Were there any sort of trends that you saw bubbling up that we might see more of? We're only at the beginning of award season. We have a long way to go. I saw what I believe are two trends and one that I think is a evolution. We saw the rise of magenta, Mm -hmm. which is supposed to be the color of the year. Color of the year. Yeah, we all read those articles and it was versions of purple all over, a lot of silver beading. We saw that on that unbelievable Oscar de la Renta on Jessica Chastain. Love the dress or hate the dress. It was a piece of art. We saw silver beading on Selma Hayek. We saw silver beading on Julia Garner. And I think the sort of sheer nude is evolving Mm -hmm. into being used in a very romantic way rather than so blatantly sexy. Could this be like the death of the naked dress, the red carpet naked dress as we know it? There will always be the red carpet naked (laughs) dress. I mean, come on. When is that ever going to go away? Um, But I think we're seeing it in an evolution right now where it's... The naked, but not. We're Mm -hmm. seeing that fabric with, you know, a beautiful color over it. 
with, you know, where you've got the transparency, but in a much more romantic flowing way. Last time we spoke in 2021, I remember you were talking about how you thought the red carpet was on life support. Have you changed your stance on that at all? I like to think that it's gone from the ICU unit into a step down unit that you're not just, you're not out of the hospital yet, (laughs) but you know, we're not standing over the bed with our fingers crossed, hoping for a miracle. I feel like the Globes this year finally felt like women and men were allowed to have a little bit of fun again. Everything you were allowed to have to be a little bit shallow, if you like, for the first time in a long time. Everyone wasn't in black and severe and and everything had to be serious. I don't think we're back to these huge, incredible couture masterpieces yet. But I like that there was very much a, a you know a lot of ball gowns, a lot of you know. Look at Lily James. Look at Selena Gomez. We started to see that people didn't have to present as very conservative. Bailey Bass, and I love that she went as a serious actress who's only nineteen. Yeah, it was absolutely. Perfect Mm -hmm. for that. She wasn't trying to like sex it up and look at me and this and the other. She's just coming off her first big movie and she looked elegant. Mm -hmm. The dress was perfect. The hair was perfect. That's how you want a young, serious Mm -hmm. actor. I also loved Laverne Cox in that vintage gown. I'm like, wow, that was... Fan, that was a solid moment. And hosting in a dress like that is not easy. Anything plunging when you're hosting is, you know, I tip my hat at taking that risk and pulling it off because you are taped in within an inch of your life. You got your earpiece, you got things attached to you. I'm like, wow, that was a masterclass in good posture. 